school. He died at 25, which means that he was wealthy. So most of us don't like him. This bookstore is very different from other bookstores and also just different from other places in general. There's an ethos behind it that's very much all about uh, progressive movement um, and sort of about providing resources that we don't find in other places. There's very few bookstores that have an activism section. But not only that, it becomes a, a gathering place. And so this spot that we're sitting right now on a Friday, Saturday night, it's packed full of people. And people come in here and they sit and they talk and, and, and you know, they politic. And so it's become a community hub where artists and activists and other people can sort of get together and sort of talk about these issues. We are going to the Teach for Change bookstore in Bus Boys and Poets. Okay. Is it one of your favorite destinations? It definitely is. One of my favorite places to shop for books for school, for my son. Mm -hmm. I always tell students, if you hate to read, it's because you haven't found yourself in that book. You know, I would go to Bus Boys and Poets and I would purchase books, you know, with my own money when I needed to. And sometimes the school would have funds available. And I would find books that, that like with stories that my students could relate to. Yeah. <laughs> this is the section that I hang out in the most. My husband has to pull me away from it. This is um, about putting the movement back into civil rights teaching. Um, it's not one that I've read yet, um, but I have read um, Beyond Heroes and Holidays. Just finding more authentic way ways to celebrate um, the heroes in our own neighborhoods and in our own communities as opposed to just focusing on um, Martin Luther King and Malcolm X and Gandhi who have their place. But I think it becomes more, um, even more relevant to students when we can focus on the heroes next door. Another reason why my dad is my hero is because, like, um, like he gets out of his way to do, like, to get things that I need. We're teaching students how to use their voices in order to impact social change. So today, we're, our unit is Everyday Heroes, and students are going to explore a lady in Iraq. The book is called The Librarian of Basra. During the war in Iraq, she felt that the libraries were going to be threatened. And so she personally rescued thousands of books and took them this to her home. This is her entire house filled up with books. So remember we were talking about your parents, right, and how selfless they are because they care about you. Ali was doing the same thing. Remember, like I said, she doesn't care about the books. She doesn't care about the pieces of paper. She cares about the words inside of them, right? Um, I always call Teach for Change a gatekeeper. Um, they make sure that all the books that they have in their bookstore are present a multicultural perspective um, and are anti-racist um, anti and anti-biased. Um, so I just feel like I don't have to kind of sift through them like I do the textbooks to make sure that they're given accurate information. I can really trust that they're going to be reliable sources.